All right, I'm here. What do you want? Thank goodness you're here. Are you sure I'm at the right place? Because this doesn't look like a church. It looks more like hell. That's exactly what I want to talk to you about. The church has been cursed by a fucking demon. Hold on, are you even allowed to say that word in a church? Of course, there used to be a time where swearing wasn't allowed in churches, but that was a long time ago. Nowadays, just most people swear in normal speech, it's now allowed in churches. Cool, so what do you want me to do? Well, we have uh, the non blu ray and it's cursed. When we put it into the blu ray player, the church was doomed to hell, and the only way to defeat that con demon is to properly review the nun. And since none of us are reviewing, we need your help. Will you do it? Sure, why the hell not? Alright, all you have to do is to do a solid review of the movie the demon will be gone. Cool! Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing The Nun. Now I'm gonna have to be honest with you, I did not have high expectations for this movie at all. In fact, I expected it to fucking suck. The only movie out of the Conjuring series which I actually like is the first Conjuring movie. All other movies of the franchise that I have seen at least fucking sucked. So of course I expected this to be a generic demon movie that isn't entertaining in the slightest. Now I'm gonna have to be honest, this movie is better than I expected it to be. But unfortunately it's far from great though. There are a lot of problems that I have with this movie but before I get into that I'm gonna talk about the characters. First I'm gonna talk about Father Burke played by Damian Bitcher. Now he is basically a cop or something like that and was to investigate the death of a nun. Now he is not afraid of demons at all. In fact, he is a fucking awesome character and I will remember him long after I've seen this movie. Yeah, he's the best part about the movie hands down. He is fucking awesome and I was rooting for him the entire movie. Now the next character that I'm gonna talk about is Sister Irene played by Tysha Farmica. Now she is a good character, I will give her that. But unfortunately she is also extremely fucking forgettable. She wants to be a nun. And that's basically all I can say about her. It really is said that a character which I think is good happens to be a very forgettable character. But sometimes shit like that just happens. And the third and final character the more that I want to talk about is Sister Victoria played by Charlotte Hope. She's the nun that kills herself by the beginning of the movie. And she's a very important character of the movie, even though she only appeared by the beginning of it. Alright, now that I'm done talking about the characters, there are many issues that I have with the movie. But before I get into the issues, there are a few more positives I can say about the movie besides the character. But one thing that I appreciate about this movie is the creativity. Even though this is a movie about a demon which has been overturned to death, it still brings something new to the table. It does feel different from other demon movies, which is beyond fucking awesome. And when I noticed that, I had hope that this could be a movie for the franchise that's actually good. And it is, but far from great. And I was also wondering what the hell happened to that nun and why she was committing suicide. I partly knew the reason by the beginning of the movie, but it was still a mystery to me. Alright, now that I'm done talking about the positives, it's time to get into the negatives. One big problem that I have with this movie is the fact that some of it takes place in a non-English country. Despite that the people living there are speaking in plain English. That is so fucking distressing. Practice and so unnatural. Why would people in countries that are not English speaking countries talk to each other in English in regular conversations? That makes absolutely no sense. Another problem that I have with this movie is the fact that it's honestly very fucking forgettable. Yeah, the only thing about this movie that sticks in my mind days after I'm done making this review are Burke and some of the creativity. I'm sure I will forget everything else about it shortly. And forgettable doesn't mean bad. But it does mean that this movie could have been done so much better. 
Now it's time for my overall thoughts. I'm gonna have to be honest, this movie is better than I expected it to be. It's a good movie and I enjoy it. Unfortunately, it's far from great. My main issue with the movie is just how forgettable it is. It is a good movie though, so I'm giving it one thumb up. Well, thank you for the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Oh my god, I'm being destroyed. No! Oh my god, it looks like a church now. She told you it was a fucking church. It was just doomed by a demon. I didn't think you'd like the movie, but you told your honest opinion. And that's all what was needed to destroy the demon. Why couldn't you talk about the movie? Because a solid review was needed, and I'm no reviewer, so that's what I'm unable to do. Glad I could help. Thanks for saving my fucking church. Is there anything I can do to repay you? No, nothing is needed. I just love helping people.